it's story time with Auntie Monique. Joseph the Slave, The Meaning of Dreams, Story 37, Genesis 40. It was not long before the jailer in charge of the prison found out how helpful Joseph could be. He began to give him all kinds of little jobs to do, looking after other prisoners and arranging the prison routine. Whatever Joseph did was well done. One day, two very important new prisoners arrived. One was the king's wine steward and the other his chief baker. Both men were high in the king's service, but somehow they had displeased their royal master and had been thrown in prison. There they must wait for the king to pass sentence on them. The jailer gave Joseph the job of looking after them. One morning when he brought them their breakfast, Joseph noticed that they were looking very miserable. What is the matter? he asked kindly. We both had dreams last night, they told him, and we don't understand what they mean. Like all Egyptians, they believed that every dream had a meaning, but in prison there was no one to explain to them. God can explain dreams, Joseph said. Tell them to me. He listened as first the wine steward and then the baker recounted his dream. The steward had dreamed of a grapevine with three branches from which he squeezed grapes for the king's wine cup, giving it to the king to drink. The baker had dreamed that he was carrying three baskets of delicious pastries to the king, but the birds flew down and pecked at them. God helped Joseph to understand what the dreams meant. In three days' time, he told the steward, you will be called by the king and given back your job. But he had to tell the baker, in three days' time, you will be put to death on the king's orders. Everything happened as Joseph had said. Three days later, it was the king's birthday. He ordered the chief baker to be put to death, but he called the steward back into his royal service. In the next episode, we will be covering Joseph the slave, the prisoner, and the king. Have a blessed day.